shitless.
some of the expressions Mr. Romo has just used are unfamiliar to you. Let's examine some of these phrases more closely. Dig. Dig it. Dig yourself, baby. Forget it. Dig. Dig it. Chat. This is Copilot alongside Lola. I have a different dog today. But she's the one that followed me upstairs and Dasher stayed downstairs, so she's also really sleepy. Yeah, she's out. <laughs> she's completely zonked. But anyway, this is Lola. You'll see her more as she stands up. Uh, like I say, this is Copilot alongside Ted. And we're doing more Hogwarts Legacy today. Part 4 of Hard Mode Hufflepuff. I have a very serious question is, do you think side quests, doing side quests counts as skipping class? I feel like it does. I feel like side quests are class skipping because you've got like the dueling club and running around looking for stuff in the school. I feel like it's skipping class. I'm just going to say it so that my Hufflepuff can be kind of a rebel. Um, what else? We are still, as we have been, fundraising for California Wolf Center. Links to that are pinned in all three of the main chats, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And for the next however long Lola is up here with me instead of Dasher, uh, donations of $5 or more to that will give her a schnackle. And she'll stand up and you can see her more. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I forgot water. Yep. I forgot water. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, different schedule today. Different, oh, it's going to be a different schedule moving forward. Tuesdays. Tuesday mornings, Thursday evenings, Saturday nights are the new stream schedule. And that's going to be what we do for the duration. Because I'll be working on New World, and our schedule is to be different. We're going Thursday to Monday. So i got to change, shift my stream schedule around that. Uh, I think that that is it for now. So let's get into some gameplay. And I don't even remember what I was doing. I really don't. Oh, that's right. I've got new graphics that will say like, hey, follow and sub and like and stuff. I'll be on the side screen. So this is the first stream I've done since I've made those. So those will be up there. That's fun. 
My phone is weighing down my, my Udi pocket. Oh, derp. I've also been playing a lot of FPS again. Mostly Destiny, as I try and get through this season. I thought about streaming Destiny today, honestly, but... It's just grindy and you guys would hear me do nothing but rant about how bad the writing is. Ah. It's okay, I'm in shambles. I'm just in shambles. That's not the one that I wanted. Never mind. Uh, do I want that one? No, I don't. That would feel too weird. So, the controller that I use, or should I took the faceplate off. So you take the faceplate off and then you can change the sticks on underneath. And one of the sticks is a short domed one instead of a short concave one. There we go. But having domed and concave at the same time feels weird. There we go. And the other one is this this long boy. Which is the longest thumbstick I've ever seen. But it's still cool. Alright. Moving on. Back over there. We're not going to drop anything else. We're going to get right into some... To whatever the heck I was doing. I don't even remember. I remember that I started to go to a goblin camp and I had to back that up because that was too low level. So I'm doing something. We might we might just hard focus on the main story for a little bit so that we can actually get a broomstick and be able to fly around. Oh, that man just well left. Nice. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Oh, that's right. I have to go help this dude be not a coward. Revelio. And by help him be not a coward, I mean help him pretend that he's not a coward. I hear a ding. Where is it? Back this I'd way. We're gonna find this damn thing. Places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Have you found anything to? Uh, I'm gonna shoot you yet. with a spell. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Rebellion. There it is. Found it. Hey, what are you? Serpentine Beast Window. Ooh, that looks cool. Mouth of the Legendary Green Man. I feel like that's a legend I should know, but I don't. Definitely cool. Um, where are we going now? I hear no more dings. Quests. That's right, he had the carts. Who this one? Find and enter the hidden herbology corridor. Watch me probably need to have uh Alohomora. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Is he gonna say that every time I walk in here? Because he said that a uh, time. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Getting closer to what? Is that the. I think that's the. Oh, you know. I remember what side quest that is. We'll come back to it. Oh, he's got a howler. Fell off plus L, dude. Back, wish you Is it gonna explode? Yes! It exploded. Revelio. Hmm. 
Are these the demigod statues? I don't know what to do with those. That's right. Nate said I couldn't do anything with those yet. stop and watch these guys oh that's new oh no oh my dude no no oh my god <sighs> why'd you have to do him like that Every other time I've walked by this, he just punches him. He doesn't just murder him. Good God. Rebellion. The Chudling Cannons are going to be unbeatable. <laughs> I should learn ex uh, Quidditch lore. When they're like, Chudley Cannons, and I, I recognize that team. Oh, nice. They're playing at, but at Bludgers. Cool. Is that Rebellion. a dragon plant? Yes, it is. That's adorable. Kind of surprised it doesn't have a. Oh, thank you, Paige. Speaking of. Rebellion. So this is... Hold on. Oh, beehives. Glumbumbles. Okay, not bees. Magical flying insects that produce a treacle, which will cause melancholy if consumed. Oh, sad. Got it. So they are beehives. There's just a, a, a thing in them. What is this on my map? Hold on. Realize you guys can't see my map when I have it down below my camera. Oh, it's just marking where I'm supposed to go. It's just below me. Okay. Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Yes, they are. Thank you for solving the puzzle for me, dude. Incendio. I could have figured that out on my own. Goddess Gaming, welcome in. I'm doing okay. I am doing just fine. I have a German Shepherd who is very, very sleepy. I am very much enjoying this game. It's it's delightful. Have you played it? I keep getting sidetracked from doing the main story. Also, thank you for following. Be much appreciated. That did not play the, the audio cue it was supposed to for me, corridor. but that's okay. It's so cool to see Hogwarts fleshed out and be able to explore it more. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Is I wish. That's the wrong one. I need light, which was this one. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. It's doing the thing that I don't like it when games do, is it's solving the puzzles for me. Basically, it's like, oh, Devil Snare. I would know to cast Lumos. Or, there's vines. I should burn them to get to where I need to go. But he's like, oh, I should cast fire here. I'm like, I know, dude. Let me play the game. It's one of my biggest gripes with, uh, with open world games like this. Incendium. Is when there's... Lumos. 
when there's puzzles, the game just kind of tells you. <laughs> hey, thanks for the raid. How y'all doing today? Raided with five. That's awesome. Welcome in, you guys. Bearded beauty. Welcome in. Uh, jump. Right now we're doing the... The side quest I'm on is there's a... He was a Ravenclaw. A student was like, hey, there's... Uh, everyone calls me a coward. Can you go get something from a super dangerous area? Uh, <laughs> so that I can give it to other people and prove I'm not a coward. It's going well. I've, I'm having an absolute blast with Hogwarts. This is the biggest devil snare I've ever seen, though. I mean, I say that having only ever seen the one in the movies. That's a dumb thing to say, co-pilot. Oh, no. Lumos. Oh, dear. Seems the devil snare was protecting a chest of some kind. How far into the game? I am... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I didn't know that water was there. Um, I'm not very far into the main story at all. I'm level... Who's still an owl scarf? That sounds fun. Um, so I'm level 14. I don't have a broomstick yet. I've kind of just been running around doing stuff. I don't even have my skill trees. Like, <laughs> to give you an example of how... How little I've done is I haven't unlocked the talents tree yet. <laughs> They're just fun, man. Incendio. Oh, that's... I wish I'd seen that. What is that? Oh, I see it. Hold on. Accio. Hold on. No, that's a torch. Why? Oh. You know what? Hold on. I have a thought. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I have a thought. I was wrong. It did not work. I... it's... Incendio. I already have that one. I'm trying to... There, it looks like there's one... There it goes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That worked. <laughs> it's just... Lumos. Eat. Okay, we made it across. Um, now, so yeah. Like I was saying, the quest that I'm doing right now is there was a Ravenclaw it's who said he was a coward and that he wanted stuff to prove that he wasn't a coward. So he's sending me Lumos. to the dangerous area to get the thing so that he can walk around and be like, I look at this thing that I got. That enormous venomous tentacle. Oh my god. For Duncan to prove his bravery. That is giant. Why is this here? Hidden herbology wing. These are ruins, dude. Oh yeah. I like, that's... I've been trying to decide, Goddess, if I want to do like side questy stuff off stream. Because there's just so much, and I would like to get through a whole playthrough on stream. But my god, it's going to take me forever if I keep getting sidetracked. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Not that. Also not that. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this guy? I don't really want to get close. I feel like it's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I expect I'll keep just full sending it on the side quest. Legitimately. Like, I'm scared to walk at this thing. Oh, it did nothing. Okay. We're good. See, that Ravenclaw guy didn't need to be scared. I can just get out this way? Why couldn't I have just gotten in this way? My dudes. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Why could I have just not come in the exit that was right next to the thing? Oh, there's more of them. Oh, hey, thanks. We're just going to keep grabbing these. Can I, are these more things that I can just yeet? Oh, thank you. It is a, a penguin Udi. So I'm going to stand up real quick. And you can see how freaking big and baggy this thing is. It's freaking massive, dude, and it's so warm and cozy, and I'm going to have to open my window here 
so it's not so warm. My girlfriend got it for me for my birthday, which is funny because uh, the story behind that, she got she ordered it. It got lost in transit, basically, because the sticker, the. um, What's the word I'm looking for? The shipping label. Ooh, those look cool. Uh, the shipping label got stuck to a different package. So this one got lost, basically. And so she contacted them and had a had them send another one. And then probably a week later, two weeks later, the first one arrived because the postal office opened it up and found the shipping label and sent it to the address. So now we have matching penguin Udis. Big W. It is super cozy. I have worn it basically nonstop since getting it. Not quite that frequently, but I've worn it a lot, and I've worn it on every stream, and I really do need to open a window now. Okay. I can't believe that now we go back to that Ravenclaw and give him his, his trophy. His thing that he can walk around and be like, see, I'm not a coward. I totally went and got this myself. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the Stop school. Stop telling me to look stars. for high places. I found the thing. Oh, I love I love penguins. They're my favorite. Favorite is the snowy owl. Snowy owls are amazing. That now a teacher I love them. Have you found anything to uh, prove my brain? Yeah, here yet? have a freaking giant Hello, venomous Duncan. tentacula thing. I have thing. the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacula. It was, it's yeah. More than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I had the option to I say happy to help, or the option up. to say, no, nah, I'm going to keep sure it. sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show You're a Ravenclaw. I think they're going to be smart enough to see through this, dude. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Oh, yeah. I definitely am playing on controller. <laughs> Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's in dunking for me. Venomous tentacular robe. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, gear. Robes. Oh, it was just a cosmetic part. Ooh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, for Twitch, probably about a month, actually. So I used to, so I've on and off streamed for like five years on various different channel names. Um... That'd be cool. I don't know if I'll be able to do affiliate because I do research. I do multi-stream. So I'm live right now on Twitch, YouTube and Facebook. And I think affiliate would mean that I would have to stop multi-streaming. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do my best to try. Ornate juniper gloves. What do those look like? Oh, those are shiny. Not really shiny, shiny, but just shiny. Cool. I like this. Um. Twitch is allowed multi-streaming? Oh, nice! I did not see that. That is great to know. So yeah, I've been... I... I should say, most recently... Um... Let me... Not really most recently. About two years ago, I do have Discord. Um... Let me type it in chat real fast. Or I'll just say it out loud. Okay. No Twitter notification. I don't need that. So I think I will look into it and double check. I think it was more like that you can. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering. I know you can't partner in multi-stream, but if you can affiliate multi-stream, that'd be really cool. So my discord. Is this? I'll type it in chat real quick. Uh, number 7518. There's my Discord in Twitch chat. And I realized that I haven't actually put my 
my Discord channel. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Um, I'll do that in a little bit. Maybe. I meant to set up a... Um, have a like a invite to post in my panels and stuff, but I got I kind of spaced out and I forgot to do that. Um, what was I doing? Scarf. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I got a snowy owl scarf. Oh, that's, oh, that's adorable. We're going to save that for, for winter times. Okay, focusing up a little bit. Oh, that's weird. 7518. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not showing up. If you post yours up in, in chat, I'll add you real fast. What I am I doing? Tonight. What do I want to do now? Oh, that's 5151. Oh, that's easy enough to remember. I showed up for Butered Beauty. <laughs> um, ch -ch -ch. Goddess, 5151, yep. Number 5151. Quests. I really should. Okay. I really should do main quest stuff so that I can unlock talents and actually get to a flying stuff. So. How much stuff do I have? Okay. I have some space for gear things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know why it was being funky like that. Um, bum, 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 bum. Quests. So how long have you been streaming, Goddess? Slash what sort of games do you usually stream? I'm guessing you stream Hogwarts because you talked about that. But outside of Hogwarts, what do you usually stream? We'll do... They said suggested level 2 for this quest. I was having a hard time with it at 14. Jeez, Krivens. Uh, we'll go do the key. We'll find a key. I don't know. No, main... We're gonna... Hmm. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Oh, good. Cool. I think about six years ago is the time is the first time that I start tried to stream. And I tried Destiny. And then life got in the way of all the people I played Destiny with, and that sort of just stopped being a thing. <laughs> uh yeah, I think my first stream was a Vault of Glass raid stream. <laughs> I just so all right I got away from destiny 2 f this season I played the absolute heck out of the the previous one the swashbuckler season the one with the space piracy and stuff that's what made me get back into destiny honestly uh and then I started playing this season which queen was great so yeah I I basically stopped playing partway into uh Beyond Light, I thought the writing was insufferable. It's like, the weird thing is their expansion writing is great. The writing on the expansions, like, Beyond Light was pretty good. 
the Witch Queen stuff, the writing is fantastic. Once they get into, like, the seasonal writing... I hope so, that'd be cool. <laughs> Hi, new best friend. But the writing in the seasons is, is so god-awful. It's so terrible. The dialogue is just so cringe, and I can't freaking stand it. And... So I'm I'm just muscling through Season of the Seraph so that I can have the know the story because they kind of got me in the feels with the trailer they did for Lightfall. And I'm like, if they say this is the beginning of the end, if this is the end of Destiny 2 on its way out, then I need. I, I feel like I owe it to the time I've put into this game to see it through to the end, whatever an end looks like for Destiny 2. Revelio. Lumos. What do I need to do for this guy? Leviosa, that's right. I always pause instead of doing the thing. Yoink. Leviosa. Got him. Yep. Level 15. Still don't have a broomstick. Let's go, baby. Bearded Beauty, thanks for following. I thought that I had set up audio cues for my alerts, but apparently not. Oh, I get that. Rip K, dude. Revelio. I still, I still inhale the copium of maybe he'll come back as Cade 7. I know he's not going to, but I let myself hope. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Somebody just said Duncan owes his reputation to me, which is true. I wonder where it might lead me. Where'd it go? Rebellion. I lost it. I think it went down the what stairs. Are you up to now? There's a lock. Level 1 lock. I don't have Alohomora yet. I really should do main quest story stuff after this. Oh, hey! There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Oh my god! <laughs> I just smacked the key into the door. Key, can you can you get into the lock, please? I feel like I need to just wait until it's lined up with the lock. See, that's what I was saying. No, yeah, no, I I do know that. They could have absolutely just kept him with Nolan North. Of course, Nolan North's not even the vo voice of Ghost anymore. They got somebody different. But Nolan, yeah, Nolan did Cade so well for that scene. What am I supposed to do with the key? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Wait till it gets to the middle? That's what I thought. Is there a point where it kind of stops in the middle, or do I have to try and time it as it's crossing? It stops close? Okay. Come on. Key, please. For the love of God. Hey, thanks, beauty. You have a good day, too. Dang it. Key, can you just do... Do the thing. Team, please. I swear. Got it! Oh, there it is. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Finally got it. I had to laser focus on that thing, but we got it. All right, moving on. 
Go talk to Nelly, see what she has to say about these keys. Hufflepuff is secretly the best house. I shouldn't say secretly, it's quietly the best house. I watched, not watched, saw a tweet from Deserto, maybe Jake Sucky. I hear a ding, I'll come back for it later. Um, About like the percentages of people that, and in which house they picked, it was like 32% Slytherin. 30 something percent Gryffindor, Ravenclaw was in the 20s, and then I think Hufflepuff was like 13 percent, might have been 18 percent. It's like, man, they're disrespecting us Hufflepuffs these days. Levioso. That is not one of the Levioso. Levioso statues, that's just a big dude. All right, when I was younger, I would swear up and down that I was a Gryffindor. See, when I, I, very, very early on, like high school, um, I took, I did that Pottermore test and it said Gryffindor. And then several years after the fact, I went back, actually it might have, it was probably almost 10 years after, afterwards. Because it was shortly after I started, uh, dating Nicole, I believe, is the last time I took one. I am 33, if that gives you a... <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I took it back in high school times and it said Gryffindor. And then when they kind of expanded it out to give like percentages of which one you were, I took it once and it was like three, six. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right, right around the same. It was like one time I took it and it was dead heat between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and then I took it again and it slightly leaned Hufflepuff so I was like you know what fine we can we can do this Hufflepuff we're underrepresented we just gotta squat up let's go 90s kids hell yes dude the 90s were the best times hello Nelly I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock brilliant what did you find in the cabinet a coin a curious token of some sort looks like some sort of house token I bet it unlocks house chests don't know what that I means I call them house chests I've seen the one in Gryffindor. You just made it up. That's great. The other common rooms <laughs> it well. opens house chests. What are those? I don't know. It's a term I made up. Thanks, Nelly. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize. We did have the YMCA. Right. I remember the Y. I should see this through. I would go there the occasionally. We would do. Um, so I took Aikido when I was grade school age. I keep an eye on we would occasionally do classes at the Y. Because they would do demonstrations there, and they would just wrap demonstrations and classes into into one thing. Plus the YMCA song. Shout out to the village people. All right, what what quest does she have me on now? Is she trying to have me go find more keys? Because I don't want to insert the house token into your house chest. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do main story stuff. Because I'd kind of like to be able to get. A broom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just get so sidetracked. I can't do anything with those yet. There's 16 of them. Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about the rest of them later. I just want to, f I want to put this one into my, into the house chest, and then wait until morning. It's such a weird design choice that you can't sleep in your bed, to pass time. Like, you're just going to sit down and wait. This I know. Okay, so, weird thing about me, I don't like to use fast travel mechanics. I've always said that travel I like to travel on foot. It's going to make this game take way longer. Peeves needs to go away. <laughs> Did I not pick this up? I guess I didn't. Hey, Lola. Lola, you're standing up, which means the camera can see you. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Lola. So this is Lola. Lola, come here. I need you to put your head where the camera can see you. Thank you, baby. So this is Lola. Usually I have my boy Dasher up here. 
Usually I have Dasher up here, but he stayed downstairs with our other dog, Griff. And Lola came up and laid down on his bed in my office, so that's why she's with me today. She's a very pretty girl. She's mostly German Shepherd. And part Husky. She's, well, she's like 80% German Shepherd, like 10-15% Husky. And then like 5-10% to what they call Super Mutt. Nicole rescued her a few couple few years ago. I've had my boy Dasher who you'll you who you'll see in a bit. Because in like 15 minutes I'm gonna take a short break to let them out for potty. And then I'll probably have Dasher when I come back. We do not deserve dogs, I agree. They are too good for us. And I'll have my boy Dasher, who is a Belgian Turvuren. And then we have Griff, who we just got about a year and a half ago. And he's a 100% German Shepherd. He's a big boy. But I might try and see if I can get Griff in here. But I would I would worry that he would destroy my office if left to his own devices. The Belgian Turvuren... So if you're familiar at all with the Belgian Malinois, which is like... Uh, the German the, the Malinois are basically the ones that look like German Shepherds, but they're skinnier. They're, they're sleeker, I should say. So the... Oh, cool! Um, so yeah, Turvurans are Malinois basically with long fur. They're not quite as muscular, but they're that same... They're cousin breeds. So yeah. My boy Dasher, I've had him since he was about six months old. Back in 2013. Actually, when did we get him? No, he was like four months old when we got him. So I've had him for almost ten years. K9 units as a photographer? Dude, that is awesome! That's awesome. We love, whenever we're out and about and we see a K9 unit, we're like, oh my god, doggo. <laughs> okay. Lola, can you lay down? Or did you just discover the mirror? Hi! She just discovered the mirror that's over there. Oh, awesome. Lola. Hi. Are you confused by the mirror? Did you not know that was there? <laughs> She's not usually in here with the door closed because she didn't know that mirror was there. <laughs> you lay down for like 10 more minutes and then we'll go with UT. Okay, well, lay down, baby. Can you do that for me? Can you lay down? She's like, no. She says, I don't want to lay down. All right, house chest. Oh, that's right, this thing. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Okay. I saw this, the house chest, and I thought it was like a uh, storage chest. Now I know I'm wrong. God, Hufflepuff just has the coolest common room. It really does. I say this not having been in any of the other ones. This just seems like the most warm and welcoming and chill. Uh, map is... That one. Cool. Lay down, babies. You lay down. Can you give me ten minutes? Okay. Sent a few. Okay, awesome. I'll, I will check them here in just a second. I will actually look at them right now. And then I will take my quick break to let the doggos out. Bing, bing. Oh, good dogs. Oh, wow. <laughs> The one jumping through the window is awesome. Those are great. Good doggos. That is an awesome job. I work, my job is I am a video game tester. 
and the project that I was on uh, is no longer, and so I am being moved to New World. So I'll be working on New World starting on Thursday. Oops. It is cool. It's been fun. All right, girl from Wagadu. Let's go do the main story stuff. Now that Lola's laying back down. Once she stands back up, we'll... I go this way. Ignatia Wildsmith. They need to... I get that they need to put an audio cue. Hold on. Oh, hey, a key! Where'd he go? Key? Where'd you go? There's a thing. There's this guy. Where'd, where'd the key go? Remember when I said I was gonna, like... Focus and stuff. Okay, focusing. Back to focusing. I wish I could just jump down that. Tested Discord? That's awesome. It was a mod too for about a year. You'd be surprised. So, we get a lot of um, people who this, like, game testing is their first job. So there's, like, test associate stuff, and then there's, like, test engineers. And I've been a test associate for several years now. I have the knowledge and experience to be a test engineer. It's just kind of waiting for one of those spots to open up. Prior to this, I was a teacher. <laughs> I taught high school English. Revelio. And now I work in video games. I heard an <laughs> no worries, man. All good. I put... I have, I have tried to put my grammar hawk days behind me. Hey, my humming dude is back together. Oh, good. Right before you tuned in, Goddess, um... Because this one on the left is always humming a tune. And the that one on the right, like, always punched him in the arm. And then when I walked past them earlier, uh, instead of turning and punching him... Oh yeah, he did that last time. He just turned and just wailed on him. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> and I stopped to watch it. Because it's always just been funny to me. It's like, this one's humming, and it's a cute little tune. And then just smash and just kept kicking him while he was down. I was like, oh my god, why is this happening? Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, flying class lawn. Literally just a lawn. I know that they've said <laughs> I was I was shocked and I was sad, and I'm glad that he's back together and that he still hums. Um I will say, I know that they, that Avalanche Soft has said that they don't plan on really adding anything to Hogwarts Legacy, but I hope that they do. DLC for like years 6 and 7 would be awesome. And just Quidditch would be great. I would like to play Quidditch. I would, let me, let me expand. I would like to play Quidditch without booting up my Wii so that I could play the GameCube game, <laughs> Quidditch World Cup. Okay, are we good? Are we back? I just heard a OBS disconnected notification. Are we... Are we clear? Channels. Okay, looks like we're good. No, Twitch, please. Okay, are we back? Cool. Good, good, good. It keeps saying it's sending data to Twitch, which signals to me that it might be lagging on Twitch. Are, is, are we... Are we laggy or are we good?
bitrate's having a hard time. All right. If Twitch dies, I am also live on YouTube and Facebook, so <laughs> there's options there. Okay, I need OBS to be back on my screen. There we go. This is a lot more walking than I thought it was going to be. I thought she was a lot closer. Hi, Lola. Lola has now tucked her head partially beneath a cardboard box. <laughs> I think she's trying to hide and take a nap. Good to see you, my friend. Did I not walk past this early? I did oh, not. Nice you, I intentionally avoided friend. it when I was just walking around. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip. She didn't get meeting. hurt, though. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We I'm did fine. not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Nope. I am sworn to secrecy. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. I'm fine. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To Mostly all of us. just me, dude. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. <laughs> all you I have to do is not be around. Day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. This feels what contrived. Sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. What that enterprise? True, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? Yes. I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Because she's law I enforcement. I heard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate. How do you overhear something like that? This feels very contrived. That Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am or going to watch you could and tell and Officer Singer precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Confused by what just happened. Be on your guard. I've always said that travel broadens I the mind. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? Huh? What's going on here? I. So okay, let me back up. I'm rolling my eyes and saying that this is contrived when it's very much like exactly what the Harry Potter kids did in the book. So <laughs> here we are. Just beginning a long tradition of they must have come students this way. Think. not doing what they're I supposed no to. Who it is you think I might have seen? I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! You're with me. Oh, that was brutal. Incendio. Fire. I'll hit more of them. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, you're aggressive. I like your coat, though. What is this collection section of your field guys have been updated to new enemy types? Okay. No worries, got us. Ow. What? I forgot about unblockable spells. 
I get overconfident because these these fights always start off really easy. Like it's super easy to get somebody into a combo. And then that just lulls me into a false sense of security. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I really like the hat. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere with you. Ow. Right, that one can't be blocked. I'll remember one of these times. Where are we at? Good duck that can't be blocked. I'm just gonna chalk this one. I'll try it again. We'll run it back. Am I? Thank you. Okay. You little brat. We'll get past these guys, and then I'm gonna take a short break to let the dog goes out, and then we will continue. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Man, you guys are just. All okay with murder, huh? Can't be blocked. Going up. Child. Tell Brookwood to find me himself. Got him. What on earth just sure. happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Who are you? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Yep. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? I have no idea. Ashwinders. Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Who is Priya? Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned oh, I'm glad I don't know who Priya, Priya is. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Okay. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Excuse me. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Cadogan. I've always said Cadogan. ...about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Hello, Addison. Welcome in. Merlin attended Hogwarts. Thank you for the follow. And I'm studying... How are you doing today? ...curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixes. I am doing pretty well. These vine covered Playing some Hogwarts, hanging out with one of my dogs who you can't see because she's right there off screen. I've taken to calling them she's the up here. Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Okay. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. And nobody figured this out before? Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sure. 
I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. Oh, these things. These little symbols. Got it. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each okay. trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. But first... But first, before we do that, I am going to take a short break to let my dogs out for potty. Let them lie for about an hour, and they should, they should be let out. So I'll be back in five minutes, upwards of ten, hopefully not, hopefully five or under. Um, and then we'll get right back into it. I will probably have a different dog with me when I come back. It will probably be Dasher. Um, anything else before I go? If you're just hanging out in the chats, do me a favor. Like, follow, subscribe, share, whatever platform you're on. We're live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook right now. And we'll be back. Sure. Let's look at the fun.
and identify the beats.
got it. 24 bit, not sick, came for a great day. We think they butter with no veins. Stereo separated with no veins. Can't eat more, one shot, figure how I drop it. If that shit quick, no click, no pop. Get it to one key. If you got money, you got a folder in the pack, I'ma hit you right back. You love it, need it, manipulate it, save it for later. Leave it royalty free. Chop, pop, pop it, double up, or freeze it. I said, bend to your hand. Listen, yo, we gonna make plans in heaven. Aren't you glad that you purchased sound effects? Right in number 27. Sorry for the delay. Doggos were being... They were being picky, and then Griff decided he wanted to steal a sock and run away with it. But we are back. For anyone just joining us, this is Copilot. This is Ted Dasher. Come here. And this is Dasher. And we're here with Hogwarts Legacy. And he's just going to get some love for a little bit. And did you look at his defies? I love the way his eyes glow in the in my ring light. He's a good boy. Need samples immediately. I just wanted you to see the sample I built from my design. Okay. What was I doing? I just beat up some some bad guys. We just did that. And I don't know what my next thing is, so we'll find that out real quick. Anything real fast? Nope, I think we're good. We got Quests. Oh, that's right. We're doing the Trials of Merlin. That's what we're doing. I did see that. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pies. Do I light them on fire? Feel like I should light them on fire. Incendium. Maybe. Accio. Incendium. Merlin's beard. Is that one? The flames make the pyre sink. <laughs> Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Nobody was able to figure it out before this time. <laughs> Man, yeah, how beautiful. It makes me think about uh, a Viva La Dirt League skit. Where it's like ancient puzzles in games. No one will ever be able to figure them out. And it's like matching pieces together. <laughs> like common shape matching puzzles. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. I'm sure you do. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. 
you should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe See, I have my brain I was thinking that these would research. be something like the shrines my out of Breath of the Wild. Each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. So we did that. Oh. Bye. Revelio. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Like Cedric Diggory. Also a Hufflepuff. 150 some odd years ahead of time, though. Okay. What else we got? Uh, let's let's just go talk to the dude. Let's let's focus main story for a little bit. I would like to, I should focus main story at least until I either unlock the talents wheel page, whatever it is, and or get a broomstick. I really should get a broomstick. And yes, if you're just tuning in, I do know that I can use flu powder to get there quicker. I don't like fast travel in games. I would rather be part of the world and just move around it. Even though to Hogwarts's credit, I think that when you fast travel, time still passes. Revelio. Why do you want me to go that way? I'm curious now how it wants me to actually get back into the castle. We're going to follow the map. This feels an excessively roundabout way to get back to where I'm supposed to go, unless it's not taking me to that, which it might not be. Let's see. Quests. I guess it does want me to go this way. Oh, this is the way that I came from. Never mind. Not so weird after all. Ooh, is that a page? I do believe that is a page I do not have. We'll go grab that real fast. This might hurt. We're fine. Climb the thing. Really, I can't jump over the fence. Where'd it go? There was a page. And then it disappeared. Now I'm confused. We will come back, I guess. I also don't know who that witch is. This way. Oh, these dudes. Just kidding. Side quest. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Sure you are. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? This sounds like you're over embellishing, but you know what? I'll take it. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. 
summoners court the ever-changing game Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. Stop! Hit him! It's up. That was one for the ages. Because I'm the best, dude. I'm gonna to it. try to knock at least one of these dudes out. Oh, that backfired. <laughs> that backfired really hard. I just gave him 20 more points, but hey, I tied it up. Oh, I think I'm gonna be able to. Oh, easy. Cake walk, man. We're going to be able to knock something out, I think, this one. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm the best. You're not bad at this. Well done. You beat me. Quite handily, I beat you. It wasn't even close. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. This is dude, I have single-handedly crushed this dude's self-esteem. I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. <laughs> Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested. <laughs> I could have told him, maybe you're, you're not cut out for this, but that wouldn't have been very Hufflepuff of me. <laughs> Those Quidditch robes. What's the worst that could happen? Those look like Quidditch you robes, and that's not well? fair, because Quidditch oh, got well. cancelled. Revelio. I don't know where I'm going. Never change, Humming Knight, dude. Never change. Nobody can do a hex like me. And I dare you to prove me wrong. You saw that first year with the engorged head. That was me. I once flew to Ipswich and back. Let me so. Don't look at me like that. Really wanted to just hoist her up because she was like, nobody can do a hex like me. And it's like, challenge accepted. Rebellion. Oh, hey, Paige. Dibs, thank you. Duncan, where? What? Do you just walk by? Oh, hey, little dude. I haven't found one of these in a minute. I'm gonna be distracted by this real quick. Lumos. Okay. I don't know where that is. That should just be right up here. Oh. 
Hopefully. Why are there just two floating books right here? Who are you? Got it. Okay. Um, here we go. Love you. Easy peasy. Wrong button. Worked anyway. Revelio. I swear that little that little Hedwig's theme chime is never gonna get old. This way. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. I have the option of saying, I can't wait to see what you brew up, and shouldn't you be studying? Yes, I'll be supportive. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. Probably right. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough, and who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue See, my, of a one-eyed witch. My worry is that if I just say anything that's disagreeing say, with him, then him. I'll cancel the quest, and I don't want to, I, I want to do all of the quests. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. This is very you Slytherin for a Weasley. The dried Billywigs things. They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. This is not very helpful, puff I'll of me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Or you could just do your homework, dude. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. We'll do that after we talk to... what's his face A up here? A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. We're going to do that later, though. I would like to go talk to... Eldritch Diggory. Who is this way? Handy resource indeed. Rebellion. Field guide. I'm most pleased to be here. Hearing a ding from somewhere, and I feel like it's another thing that I've just obviously missed. I don't know. I don't hear it anymore, so we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Peeves. <laughs> It looks like he just pooped out cabbages, and I don't know how to feel about that. Revelio. Hello, Eldritch Diggory. You wanted to see me, sir. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldritch Diggory. Former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. 
I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yes. How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to yeah, the ministry. And her spark has a Sister Zenos, hello. Welcome to chat. How you doing? Oh, she and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice trying to, to listen to Eldritch Diggory tell me about with someone who's familiar a murder. With my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, oh, wow. to be precise. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't I'm doing pretty well. To do Just having a I nice could. fine day of playing Hogwarts, of hanging out with my dog Dasher, who's over there. Short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I know there's a quest where we get to go to Azkaban, and I wonder if this is it. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. No, we're going to do other what stuff. I suspect is your knack for hard work and <laughs> Depends on how mind. far away she is. If Those she's may be If I'm to to hoof that distance, I probably I won't do it. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Don't hold your breath, my dude. How far do you want me to go here? You want me to go a very long way. It looks like Yes. You do. That's not a quick trip. We're not going to do that one yet. I don't think. Unless that's my main quest. No, I guess I have to. Okay, side quest time. We're going to do side quests. Well, actually, this one might work out well enough because it's going to put me into Honeyduke Cellar. And if I can get out of Honeyduke Cellar the normal way, which I probably can't, uh, we'll see. If this puts me into Hogsmeade and then I can just go north from there to... Upper Hogsfield, then that'll work out nicely. We gotta find the one-eyed witch statue first. Oh, hey. Dibs, thank you. Oh, hey, Paige. Revelio. Wink. Found the one-eyed witch statue. Like right statue. Duke's passageway. Yep, there it is. What was the password? There was a password? Descendium. That's right. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? I'm gonna make sure I have gear or not. Anything better than what I'm presently wearing. I think I have all my best stuff equipped. Yep, we are going to change our look a wee bit.
just for for the sake of crimes. Oh, that looks cool. That one looked like. Oh, uh, we want this one. For the hat. There we go. That's a good look. Those dueling gloves are just easily the coolest. Actually, these Quidditch ones are cool. But we'll go with the duelist ones. Sweet. Quick. Ah. Boop. Lumos. Oh, that's too bright. A lift. Must be how I get down. There's nothing looks about a lift. Though. Oh, it looks broken. Gee, I wonder how we can fix that. No worries, goddess. Welcome back. We are just about to descend into the pathway to Hogsmeade to uh, Honeyduke's cellar. We did switch dogs out. Yeah, sure. Come here. What up? Hold on. I'll switch to the bigger camera so you can see him. That seems to have done the trick. There's a good boy. Here he is. This is my boy Dasher. He's a good boy. He's just the bestest. Come here. Hi, Pa. He's my good old boy. See, he's got such a little white face. Because he's getting old. He turns 10. Give it the dog schnackos. I will give the dog a free schnacko. I have to be very careful that I don't make a lot of noise with it, because the other dogs downstairs will hear the treat jar. <laughs> I usually I usually reserve the schnackos for when we get charity donations, but I will give him a free schnacko. Let's see if he looks down. I love it when he lays down because... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most of the time when he lays down right there, he will, uh, you'll just see his ears popped up. Good bowl. But he is, uh, he's the inspiration for the charity drives that I do. We had a really big successful one, um, back in, oh, we spend lots of time on the couch for sure. There's going to be many, many much time spent on the couch in the coming weeks now that my work schedule is shifted um, so that I will have Tuesday, Wednesday off. And so my days off with Nicole won't overlap anymore. So I will just be spending a lot of time on the couch with the dogs come Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I'm not streaming. Um, Right. I was talking about I was going to talk about Dasher's backpack, so. You can see he's got a wee harness on, but it's got pockets in it, so I call it his backpack. And where my Dasher's backpack thing comes from was um, he, he gets pretty neurotic and uh, just scared of stuff a lot of the time. He's kind of always been that way. But there was one day where a really big storm hit real, uh, and he got scared and shaky and... What's weird about one of, the, one of the funny weird things about him is he does not like storms when he's inside, like he gets terrified of them, but he loves being outside in storms and like rain and such loves that. So I put his backpack on him and we went outside and he calmed right down. And so I, I said to him, see Dash with a backpack and a can do attitude, we can do anything. And then that sort of that gave me the idea for. Uh, naming charity drives after him. 
So that's where Dasher's backpack came from, and you probably see the the icon as it goes up on screen in between the the other graphics. But here, I'll switch back real fast. And so that is where the archer of you guys come from. And so we've got we've got Wee Mugs with his logo on it and the slogan that I just said out loud. We have those. And I had a hoodie somewhere. I had a hoodie hanging up right there for a display. Uh, and then I wore it so it's in the wash. <laughs> and we go back. But that's all about Dasher's backpack. And for the first few months of this year, we're, raised, we're fundraising for California Wolf Center. And links for that are in the pinned messages in all the chats, as well as the panels on Twitch and the description on YouTube and Facebook. For anyone listening who is interested in helping us fundraise. And donations of five dollars or more, and I give Dasher Schnackos. That's the wrong button. Repair. I already did repair. -o. Um, we're gonna make the invisible one be that one. There. Lumos. Revelio. Ooh, a chest. Before I go too far. Teal clockwork scarf. Ooh, that sounds cool. Hey, dish, man. Go lay down, bubble. Oh, thank you so much, goddess. No worries. No worries at all. My brother, hopefully you'll be able to. My brother tried the other day and, uh... Um... It was being kind of funky for him. I'm trying to remember exactly what went wrong that stopped him from being able Rebellion. to, but... Another chest back here. Wigan Weld Potion. Oh, good. I need one of those. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Accio. Okay, we can't Accio those. Or Club Juice. I stopped doing the thing. Okay. It's a rat. Lumos. Oh, spider webs. <laughs> Freaking neat. Rebellion. The frogs. Where's my fire? There we go. Incendio. Oh, okay. I expected there to be to be spiders. Embroidered formal uniform. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's a good look. Ah. Hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd I go here? That one. That's the one. That's our crimes one. There we go. Revelio. Incendio. So now I'm like, is this the way that I go? Hey, Zister Xenos, thank you for following. 
Much appreciated. Is this the way into Honeyduke Cellar? Oh, hold on. Oh, neat. Okay. I guess it is. We'll come back to that. Because I want to explore this way. And hopefully not get attacked by spiders. Although I feel like that's inevitable at this point. Revelio. Or is it just the back the way we came? That's just back the way we came, and I'm dumb. So never mind. Ignore me. We're gonna go the way we're supposed to go. I did a dumb. I thought for sure there was gonna be spiders up there. Am I missing something? I'm missing something. What am I missing here? Not that. Oh. Just climbing. That's what I'm missing. Never mind. Going to have to get past this. Stuff. Wait a minute. Revelio. Okay, so this is about the time where I talk about how I have a paralyzing fear of deep water. <laughs> and my friend Nate told me there might be enemies in the water sometimes. And now I'm like really scared. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> What was I going to do? Okay. So first, first thing we're going to do is we're going to save because that'll make me feel a little better. I know the checkpoints are really forgiving. And if for some reason I die in water, I also know there's probably nothing in the water here. Where people are cool. That'll be fun. I like, I don't know. There's times where I'm totally fine with it. To, what is that? Is that a reparo? What are we doing here? Reparo. Yep. Levioso. That wasn't it. What is that supposed to be? I fixed it, but I don't know what it does. Incendio. Nope, that's the wrong one. Reparo. I fixed that, kinda. Not that. Not that either? Okay, so I guess it's... There's stuff over there. Okay. Go quick. Hopefully there's nothing in the water. Game, please be nice to me. I keep hearing what I think are footsteps. They're just the, f they're the fish. And the stuff. Uh, one of these days I will stream uh, Subnautica. I think. I might not be able to because I think it's not on Game Pass anymore. It's level 17 for those. Okay. But so I will, I will tell this story. Speaking of Subnautica. So my friend Jacob... Big Subnautica fan. Swore up and down about how such a good game it was. And I had, like, I had opened it, but I hadn't played it. Oh, cool. I, so here's, here's as far as I've gotten in Subnautica. The two times that I've given it the old college try, as it were. Um. We did Rebellion. one. We. I did one where I basically loaded in. Um. Got out of my ship, looked down, saw the big thing that looks kind of like a manatee with a big glowing green tail, and just noped. <laughs> so that was attempt number one. 
Attempt number two was I got in, I looked at the stuff, and I was like, I need to be able to build stuff. I need to be able to build a ship that I can... Because, like, as long as I'm in something, if I'm piloting something, I'm okay. I'm not scared if I'm in something. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I am very sure. That doesn't change how terrified I was. The other thing was, like, I was looking at, uh... I was looking at the things, and, like, it said I needed metal. So it's like, I don't know where I'm going to get metal on an alien planet. I do know where I could probably get metal, and that's the giant crash chip over there. So I get out of my, my, my safety place, and I start swimming towards the crashed ship. I peek under the water occasionally, and then I notice that one of the times that I peek under the water, I've gone past what's effectively the continental shelf, because it has just dropped, and there is no longer visible ocean floor below me. It's just deep. So I was like, okay, I'm going to swim on top. If I can't see it, it can't hurt me, is what I said. Nicole was sat right next to me, and I'm like, yeah. Um, so I'm just swimming, and then the water starts getting yellow, which I'm like, this is sus, but okay, we're just going to keep on going. And then I see out of the corner of my eye what looks like tentacles on the top of the uh, on the top of the water but then it's gone so i think maybe it's just like a lighting bug on the water and whatnot and then thank god for my reflexes because tentacles start coming up from underneath me and so i pause close the game and that was it <laughs> i was like nope we're done we're not doing that anymore So, that was the last time I attempted Subnautica. Leviathan hug? Oh, Christ. That's... Oh, you're not convincing me to, to try this again. I am unconvinced. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. There we go. Levioso. That did the trick. Oh no. <laughs> if you if you can find it, send me the link. I'll go watch it. Or I'll or I'll try and peek at it later. This is yeah, I just I don't do deep water. It took There's me a long time to not be terrified in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Maybe we light the fires. Figured out how to open the gate. Revelio. That was easy. Oh, that's a light. I thought that that was I thought that that light right there was a chest. I was about to jump off the bridge to go find it. We're not gonna do that. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. Money's Wigan Weld Potion. Is there anything else down here? I don't think so. There is. Never mind. <laughs> Whimsical sorcerer hat. Aw, oh, let's go. New hat. We go up over here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, hey, worth it. I think ultimately I'll... Probably in my next charity drive, I'll do a, a stretch goal of, like, if we hit a certain thing, I'll stream Sometimes Subnautica. Sometimes roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Ah, oh, dude, don't talk to me about chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? It's definitely, like, visually, it's so impressive. Ooh, a new hat. Another new hat. I'm going to need to sell some of these, though. Um, One-Eyed Witch Passage is that way. 
Revelio. There's a page somewhere. Whoops. Um somebody somebody broke that. Can I fix that? If I break something, can I fix it? Nope, that's just broken. I have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. Can I get out this way? I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. I can. Revenio. I probably don't need to be stealthing like this, but I am. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd like that. <laughs> like a little bit of help. Oh, neat. Good job, me. Good job on the not stealthing. Revenue. Thing up there. Yeah, I probably, I really don't think I need to stealth like this. Oh, I would, I would definitely expect it. So Nicole and I play Sea of Thieves sometimes, and whenever we teach people how to play, we usually lock them in the brig and sink the boat. So I think if you get me eaten in Subnautica, that'll be absolutely justified. <laughs> will be my comeuppance. So the first thing we're gonna do... Inventory. Not inventory. Inventory and gear are in two separate places and that throws me off. Whimsical sorcerer hat. There are stories that I can't tell about the word whimsical. <laughs> no, I th I can agnosticize this a bunch, so it would be the universe serving you back. You're right. Um, I was on a project for work one time and it, it got canceled, but I'm still just I'm going to be super vague about it is originally when they were pitching it, they're like, oh, we want this to be whimsical. Like that was the the vibe that they were trying to go with. It was like, we want to have this be whimsical. It's like, all right. And then they added enemies that were very, very much not at all whimsical, like horrifying enemies. And I was like, are you sure you want to be whimsical? Cause you're not doing it. <laughs> you're not doing it at all. Oh, it's got a wee twisty thing on top. That's cool. We're going to look at that and then we're going to put our Zonko's hat back on. It's cool little beans. It kind of makes me think of like a Jack and the Beanstalk hat kind of thing. Anyway, back to our Zonko's top hat. Gear. Yep. Um. We're already in Hogsmeade, so we're just gonna... There it is. Are you, are you the lad rags? Yep. Come on in and have a look around. It's really nice that no these guys are open 24 hours. Figures. Since we're already in Hogsmeade, we're going to keep on going sure to north right towards wherever it was that I needed to go. Quests. Prisoner of Love. Speak to Helen Thistlewood in Upper Hogsfield. 
structure here. Thankfully, most of the way there. Who's buzzing me? Steve. I'll message Steve back later. Huh? Oh, skimming. I feel like using magic to skim rocks kind of defeats the point. <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Guess not. Revelio. Is this someone's house or can I walk in here? I need Alohomora. The unlocking spell that I don't have yet. What I do need, however, is a flashlight. Flashlight would be good for me as I walk into... As I walk into scaredy times. Lumos. By scaredy times, I just mean the woods at night time. Are these spiders or are these people? Or are they goblins? Better than patrol duty. They're goblins. Revelio. Right to fight. <laughs> Accio, send you. You only have oh, sweet. Thank you. Blame. I will be able to look that up uh, post-stream. Post Stretchy boy. Revelio. Do you guys have cool stuff? Because I just took you out. It would be nice if you had cool stuff for me. I kind of don't think they do. That's a cool looking machine though. Ooh, that's cool. I'm in so many- I am awful at keeping up with discords. I've been trying to do better about actually being active in mine. In my own. But I'm really bad at keeping up with so many. Hey chickens. They're mine right here. Can I get in here? What are we doing? Nope. Yeah, I apparently had no reason to come and just take these guys out, but you know what? I did it anyway. Lumos. Is that another digging machine? Why are there so many digging machines out here? Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh. Who's that? Yeet. Oh, you can see me. Oh, that one. No, he's... Ow! Get him, Cabbage! Cabbage, get him! Got him with the Cabbage! Two cabbages. Got it. Nice. I win. <laughs> Bye, cabbages. Oh, I believe that. Thank you. Revelio. Wrong button. Revelio. Again, is there nothing here? Okay, there's nothing here. Never mind. Didn't need to do that. Lumos. Oh, what's this? There is an icon on my map that I do not know. There is lots of icons on my map that I don't know. And by lots, I mean two. 
map. Oh, here they are. Okay. Hedge maze. Giant purple toad den. Interesting. I feel like the giant purple toads are going to try and kill me. Few witches. Okay. A lot of reading. Mystery of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to their rightful source. Dark wizard known as Yunon Blackwood. That's a good name. Uncle parents and in an effort to fit in sought solace. Family trade hedge trimming. Good. It's a good trade. Allegedly control the blackthorn bushes with his mind. That'd be cool. Both impressed and infuriated his rather intolerant family. Oops. Oh. Okay. Cool. I know about I know about that part because I watched one of the uh um or at least I watched little bits of the game preview is the word I'm looking for when they showed some gameplay. I just kind of skipped through it, but I did see he was uh that they were doing sort of the Newt Scamander kind of stuff. And I appreciate excuse me, I appreciate the not trying to give spoilers. Um, one of my friend's brothers, I think, was in the other day, and he kept trying to tell stuff. I was like, would you knock it off and let me play the game? <laughs> oh! That's how that works. Revelio. Imagine if Revelio just worked. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm, this is kind of where I started, I think. All right, here's the start. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work our way through this. So there was nothing this way. We know that. So again, that's where we started. We go this way. Oh, here we go. I think. This looks like progress at this point. I don't know. Two ways I can go here. Incendio. Don't know why I thought that would work. We're back to start. Just as I was about to be like, I think I'm making progress. Nope. I was not. But I'm determined now. <laughs> We're going to figure this part out. I'm hell or high water. So... I did know that. Yep, that's what I've been doing. I'm very glad that they have that feature. Like, as soon as you get an, an item, you basically unlock that look. Love that. As someone who's obsessed with cosmetics and games, A+. Plus. It really is. I'm very surprised that nobody's done it that way before. <laughs> I am going to go mad if I get stuck in this too long. Also, Ike, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? I really am going to get stuck in here. I keep feeling like I'm making progress, and then it becomes very apparent that I'm not. Ugh. 
Go get lunch, noise. I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch. I know we're making pancakes for dinner because it's Fat Tuesday. Hey, I found it! All I had to do was talk about Fat Tuesday. Poacher coat. Ooh. That sounds devious, but at the same time, it sounds like it probably looks cool. That, <laughs> excuse me, that does look cool. Yep, we are going to do pancakes. That's, I'm not going to actually do that, though. I want, there, my Newt's Commander cloak. <laughs> right? No, I feel that. Especially chocolate chip pancakes. You could just... I'll just walk off a cliff if you're like, hey, down there, chocolate chip pancakes. I'd be like, we'll say no more. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. <laughs> right? There's also, there's side quests out here. There's so many. Nutella pancakes? You lost me at Nutella, but... Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Yeah, I came straight here. Totally didn't... Totally didn't sidetrack or nothing. Um, we're going to come back. I'm going to go talk to these people who have side quests for me. And then we're going to do that. Doug bog warning. So is interact. Warning, Doug bog sighting. Don't know what Doug bogs are, but thank you. Nutella is just one of those things where it's like... I wonder who lives here. I can kind of guess... Bardo. Beaumont should have returned like, I, I get now. why people like it. I just, I'm not a fan. Was. There was like a Hershey's chocolate spread for a while that I don't know if they still make that I just ate up, dude. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. Why do I know the I'm name Bardolf Beaumont? Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark <laughs> magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he The name Claire Beaumont sounds familiar, but I don't remember I from where. For him myself, but no I'm so awful with names and that's Ramrod's translating into loyalists. games. And they're like, this they person. And I'm like, yeah, everywhere. I totally know who that is, except I don't. Why would Bardolf want to get involved? I have with such a sweet wonders. tooth, though, goddess. Oh, it's like he had I'm just craving chocolate constantly. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn. <laughs> no, their no you're fair. That's fine. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. My my diet has been terrible. And I've put on more weight than I want to. I need to get back in the gym. I'm right up the road from the gym that I go to. I just need to go. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? But I'm still gonna have, no. I'm still Bardolf gonna have chocolate pancakes. With Claire, his entire life, <laughs> he'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. Fortnight? Well, We're playing that on Saturday. So that he's been Saturday, yes. Or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has <laughs> some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last good, seen good in the forest protein and gummy bears, I have to assume. Woolen jumper, <laughs> one that Claire knitted herself. Do I have a glossary Claire of names? Who is Claire Beaumont? Okay. She says, huh? Claire will be at her shop. I don't know... Oh yeah, we are we are instant best friends. Suggested level seventeen. Oh boy, <laughs> these these suddenly are getting challenging. I have this story quest. It's like, hey, level five. I'm level fifteen, and then Brothers Keeper's like, hey, be level seventeen. Wisconsin. Oh nice. I think you're the first person that I know from Wisconsin. I'm out in Oregon right now. Trying to think of anybody else I've ever met from Wisconsin. I don't think I have anybody, really. Dairyland Nation, them cheese heads out there. <laughs> we we have our own little cheese 
cheese heaven in, in Tillamook. That's uh, down the 101, trying to remember freeways. But yeah, if you're ever out in Oregon and you want some cheese, Tillamook, where you want to go. They've got the cheese factory. It's out there. It's awesome. I will have to make a pilgrimage out to Wisconsin someday and get cheese. <laughs> okay. Do I have a glossary of any kind? Because I do not remember. There's appearances. <laughs> I should get a P.O. box. Enemies. Conjurations, appearances, Revelio pages, ingredients, brooms. Uh, there needs to be a glossary, like a cast of characters. Somewhere. Because there's names. I remember the name Claire Beaumont from somewhere earlier in this game. And I just... Now I can't remember. Quests. If I look in my completed, there's too much. Oh my god, there's too many to look through. So anyway, we're gonna... I'll, fi I'll figure it out. They really should add a glossary. Um, Talking to people over here. Oh, I like the music. Oh, hey, Dragon Skull. What? Beauty. That is a map of some kind. Hmm, a map. Oh, here's Claire, founder. So I do not know that name. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Be absolutely prim. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. she go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic. I will say, on a random note. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. That would be cool if it was Radcliffe. Day, I will say, hearing the actual he Scottish accents in this game is so nice. After Could Bardolph so run off? playing New no. World however many he weeks ago, me here alone. the accents in that game are just so terrible. I don't know if you've ever played it. The, uh, the voice acting for that the NPCs is so bad. Dark magic. There's a pirate that we would call Rock Irish McPotato be. Head because she just like had the worst fake Irish accent I ever heard. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Mm, only his satchel, journal. And a woolen jumper oh, I absolutely. No, I'm very glad That's to see Scotland. Recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. I'll not give up hope. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Bowman, I should have had this way. conversation with her before I Ranrock had the other one. Followers have set this is backwards. Here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just I'm just getting the quests right now and then I'm gonna go back to doing the main ones. Bardolph had spent the entire day hand picking herbs and roots for us. 
When a group of ram rocks lot I don't expect to be leveled for this one for this stuff, especially how far away I am from Hogwarts. In anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up... Because there is the Where? one that was like, hey, to level south, two, and I had a hard time with it, because I, I am playing on hard mode. In each camp. I won't go near them. Yeah, don't I don't have that many spells. <laughs> Papa Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns... Then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. I will say <laughs> Much as I would love that some of the ready, powers that they've given the goblins are really cool. Injury, or worse. Please be cautious. Like when they go to swing at you, all of a sudden they're huge. This is our home. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so here's my spells. <laughs> I don't have very many. I have... Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I have Levioso, Accio, Invisibility, Flashlight, Repair, and then Expelliarmus was the most recent I got. Yeah, I do. I knew. I need to... <laughs> I need to do stuff. It seems um, as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. But first, I need quests. Suggest so level two. I don't believe you. We are going to talk to Helen Thistlewood, and then we're going to go back to Hogwarts and give the most Slytherin of the Weasleys his ingredients that we totally did not steal from Honeyduke Cellar. I don't know why you'd accuse me of something like that. It's like a place right out of a storybook. All of this is like a place right out of a storybook, my dude. Okay. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. Pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named okay. Richard Jack disappeared no after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of her. Oh, the Black family's just kind of everywhere, aren't they? terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you... A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. Interesting. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. 
You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. Maybe not quite yet. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jack Dor's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Guess the only thing Very I can well. do is go. Let's go. Guess we're locked Steady into this. Yourself. We'll operate together. Not Don't keen worry. on that as I a design idea. Do take care now and tread lightly in that horrible place. Guess we're going to ask again. We'll I feel like I'm way under leveled. Maybe I get my Patronus now. That'd be neat. He has a bunny. That ought to keep them. Mine is going to be a horse. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Oh boy. Also, this is cool. You don't have your one, then. Hey, teach you so little of what you should know, Hogwarts. There is an open cell right here, and I'm gonna walk inside it. Never mind, there's nothing in here. Okay, bye. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. I can do that. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that Jeez, she looks like a Holocaust survivor. I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. Yeah, hang on. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hoggy Field.
Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, Hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield? I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Oh, thank you. Ellen, Ellen, no, you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. I suddenly want to play Banjo Kazooie because she's talking in rhymes and it makes me think about Gruntilda. Uh, what is it, Anne? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That was... Yikes. You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be alright once I get... Uh-oh. And she's gone. But, Madam Thistlewood, I... Alright. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Revelio. <laughs> Duelist attire. Oh, that sounds cool. My father always told me to oh, they're nuts. Cool. Um, ba -ba. Go back to my donation page. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. What do we shell? This looks intriguing. Revelio. What does? I'm gonna walk around and grab the chests that are on my map real quick. And then we'll go. Never mind. We can't because that door's locked. What about this one? Getting worse. Best be on my guard. This one's not. Okay, cool. What are you? Is that a dummy, guys? Don't know what that is yet. We just sip this mystery drink that's on the counter. Revelio. Ooh, page. Yeah. Pumpkin fizz. Fashionable carbonated drink. Now I want a part pumpkin drink. Hey, dude. What you doing? Revelio. Can't go in there yet. Maybe a different doorway. Probably not, though. Delicious butterbeer. Incendio. Oh, ow. <laughs> I don't know what I expected to happen right there. But hey, it worked. Whatever I did, it worked. Revelio. How do we get up there? Incendio. I would have thought it'd be through this door, but I guess I just can't open it yet. Yeah, that's probably it. Anywho, eat. Don't fall and die. Off we go. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Merchant is restricted. That's the problem my brother was having. Why? Okay. That's very strange. I will have to. I'll have to take a look at it. I have no idea why it, why that's doing that. And then I'll reach out to Tiltify Rebellion. too and see if. See if they have anything this to fix it. Dangerous if I'm not careful. There's lots of goblins over that way. We're gonna peek at it and then we're gonna go the opposite direction. That's not goblins. That's Rookwood's guys. 
Oh, no. That's not. They're undeads. Revelio. Okay, okay. We're just gonna compulsively save real fast. And then we're gonna try and kill these guys. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, I have I made a mistake. Fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Good to know. Ow. There's one. Um Lumos. Wrong button. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Got him. Oh, that was scary. Revelio. Already. These, I think, are Rookwood's guys. Yep, they are also way over leveled for me. Goodbye. <laughs> Level three lock. I don't even have Alohomora yet. So off we go. I wish I could sprint while invisible. I totally understand why I can't. Wish I could. Okay, so. The the sum up is I don't know why it's doing that. I will reach out to Tiltify and see if I can get that result. I think that's the same problem my brother was having, but I thought it was unique to him because other people had been able to donate. So yeah, I will I'll reach out to Tiltify. And try Castle. and get that resolved. Must have been quite stately in its time. Where? Hold on. <laughs> Beware spiders. Freaking lovely. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. Where are you? What are you? Oh, that's a flu powder lady. I wonder who lives here. I should investigate. Rebellion. Lumos. No worries. I am going to actually take a quick break to use the Biffy, and then I will be back in just a few minutes. Here we
We are back, y'all. Hold up. Hey, Dasher Man. Since I got up and moved around, Dasher now thinks it's like, okay, time to give him attention. Uh, Goddess, real quick, I will. I don't know if you can hear me, but I will type a reply to you. A lot of pets. He's gonna paw up my leg until I give him attention. On audio only? Okay. So, if you didn't hear me uh, reply either previous time, I said I will reach out to Tiltify and see if I will, if they can figure out what's going on with California Wolf Center and why you and, and you and others are having problems donating. Sorry for sniffing at people. God. My friend Nate pointed that out to me. He's like, hey, you should stop sniffing. Uh, yeah. And I, I really appreciate that. It means a lot. As I, like I said, my brother tried, so I, but I thought it was exclusive to him because other people were able to donate little bits. But. Yeah, I don't know. Um, back to the game. Okay. Hey, Dasher. He's just... If I go too long between petting him, he just kind of does a little... Puts his hand up on... His paw up on my leg and is like, Hey, dude. You are supposed to be giving me all of the attention. But look at his big teeths. Yeah, can you lay down? Can you go lay down? But since you were since you were trying to but couldn't, I will give him another schnacko. I've thought about doing that, and I may do it. I still I wanna have Yeah. I guess I can do that. That'll work just fine. Um, I thought the donations on Streamlab was a premium thing, like I needed to have the premium Streamlabs to be able to get donations through them. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> what was I doing? Okay. Okay. Hey, Dasher Man. I know a lot of people who use uh, coffee. Ko-fi? I would, I would, I guess it's coffee. Dasher, please. He's so needy. <laughs> Palanthro of information. I love that. Okay. Can you go lay down? <laughs> I wish you guys could see it. He's just, yeah, his, the way his paws go, they're like just under the frame. But I, I said, can you go lay down? And he put his hip paw on my leg, basically saying, no, I want to keep getting pets. Good boy. Okay, please go lay down. I need to go do whatever it is I'm doing right now, which I think is looking at a cave. I will clip. I'll see if you can say it. I, I saved the replay buffer locally. I'll see if it works. Asher, please. Okay, so he just pawed twice at my at my leg, and when I didn't respond, he put his nose under my hand to force me to pet him. God, you needy thing. <clears throat> Please go lay down. Or, okay. Lay down. <laughs> I love him so much. He said, lay down, and he looks at me like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> you, you will get plenty dog photos, trust. <sighs> you've met, you've met Lola. You've met Dasher. 
And I'll have to send you pictures of Griff. Because he's just, he's our big, absolute pain in the butt. This must be the place Anne told me about. He's, Griff is just shy of 90 pounds. He's two and a half years old. He doesn't realize how big he is. He thinks he's a lap dog and also doesn't know how to control his weight. Hello, Ashley. I will, I will ping it to you. I will ping you my name off stream. No one's been here for ages. Ooh, what is this? This looks fun. Incendio. Oh. Oh, there they go. Okay, they were just slow to light on fire. <laughs> Maybe. Are you lighting on fire? Are you going to go away now? Or are we just going to scorch Blue the branches? Nice. Oh. <laughs> just had to go Legend of Zelda on it and just dive through it. Perfect. Revelio. Okay. Neat. Silver wooden spectacles. That sounds fun. Let's check that out. Can't wear them yet. Can I still use them, their appearance, if I can't use the thing? Silver wooden spectacles. Okay, those are kind of cool. They don't appear to have lenses, though. That's throwing me off. <laughs> no worries. I was like, company? I was like, I was like, I would expect a company to know your name. <laughs> Well, it's been said on stream before. My name's Matt. You'll hear, uh... If you ever listen to our Game Mechanics podcast or uh, anytime I stream with my friend Nate, a.k.a. Screwtape, uh, he will... He will refer to me as Teach because that's what everyone at work called me. Still calls me. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's do stuff. Revelio. Ooh, coins. No one's been here in a while, so nobody's going to miss these coins. Oh, cool. I met one briefly. Um, because we were both in pipeline, and he was. Sorry, I paused because I couldn't tell if Dasher was whining at me or if I heard a whine from downstairs, which would have been creepy. But I think everybody's okay. I'm just gonna kind of keep Your half an ear out. Me, Jackdaw. Revelio. Gresham is how you spell it. Jackdaw. Now where's the clue? We're about forty minutes away from Gresham, plus or minus. Revelio. Ooh. Jackdaw's clue. Okay. Solve my puzzle. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, the redwoods are beautiful. The redwoods are more of a California thing. I love the forest down there. I haven't been there in ages, though. I'm trying to remember. I don't think... No, Nicole and I didn't go through. So, Nicole and I, a couple years back... Uh -huh. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, so I will say that I really like California. I love California. 
I hate California cities. Like, once you're not in cities, California is great because it's then basically South Oregon. Found it on pages that Peeves ripped out from the secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. Oh, Richard, you are dead. You've been dead for a long time. Yeah, dude, like, Cali cities are unreal. A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was he to blame at all? Dasher, can you shush? I hear him grumbling, so I might have to step away and pet him here in a minute. How terrible I have to pet my dog. <laughs> this could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Why do you keep saying that? He keeps saying, oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous. But it's like, we're just walking outside, bub. Oh, hey, ghost. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Weren't you headless? Well done, indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? <laughs> that was my puzzle you solved. It was the easiest what are you puzzle. Doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Oh no, I get that. my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best of her in the end. That's Dare debatable, because she's an Azkaban. She? she was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. How would you die, speak though? I the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go... Would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Ooh, and I'll Forbidden show Forest you time. Precisely where to find them. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Oh boy, that's a great... That's a great Helen hint. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... Vindictive. Met just the one. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. That's fair. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Okay. This place has seen better days. Okay. Asher's grumbling at me. I'm going to step away from my desk to pet him real quick.
<laughs> Hi, honey. I was giving Dasher the lovins. But I'm back. I have just found a ghost who was beheaded. He had found his head, apparently. And now he's going to lead me to a place in the Forbidden Forest. So back we go. Lumos. <laughs> God dang. I'm sorry I keep sniffing into the mic. Okay. Ooh, dasher shush. It's corn. There's a, that's a dug bog. Okay. So that's good to know what that is. Nope, you don't see me. You are a, oh, a level 20 spider. <laughs> Neat. Keep the enemy airborne. I can do that. Oh, God, so Baking Fiend is Nicole, my girlfriend that I was talking about. Nicole Goddess has been keeping me company. It's been very fun. That didn't work. That's your what? Eight legs is simply too many. Rebellion. There was this. What is this? Leech juice. Neat. Lumos. Yeah, sure. What is your deal? <laughs> she did. She did say W girlfriend when we talked about the Udi. And I agreed wholeheartedly. Okay. Why? This thing's huge. What the hell is this? What the shit is this? Thornbeck Matriarch? What in the Samuel Helsinki is this nonsense? I'm going to die a bunch. Found the freaking broodmother of thornbacks of spiders. He's giant. Yeah, sure, you're fine, bub. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Lumos. Oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. Levioso. Ow, that didn't work. Oh, God. Accio. Why? No, okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, God. Okay, so my spells don't actually work on that. Cool. I tried to live I tried to levitate the spider queen. And it was like nah fam. So we're just gonna go this way. Hey a centaur! Hey centaur dude. Can you help me with the spiders? Nope, they're just gonna go.
Yeah, shush, shush. Hang on. Yes, what is your deal, man? BRB, he's he's throwing a fit. Okay, he's going to probably throw another fit here in about 10 seconds, but he has been given pets. Now we're just going to keep on sneak walking our way through. There's so many freaking spiders. What? Revenue. So I have apparently found my way into the Forbidden Forest, and I did not mean to do that. Like, I, bo I both did and I didn't. Why does it have to be spiders? I don't know. There's just so freaking many of them. Limited imagination, in my opinion. Betting on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. Follow the butterflies, yep. <laughs> Poor Ron. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. That's not what that means! Oh god. Nope. Lumos. Afraid to take Bye. That was We're running away. You don't see me. If I, wanted this to I had to have gotten away. <laughs> Think pretty butterflies. Oh, this dude is trying to chase me down. But I broke line of sight and I'm invisible. He should not see me. Dasher, why are you throwing such a fit? What? I'm just going to go let him out of the room and see if he just wants to lay down on the bed. I will be right back.
were back again. No Dasher for a little while because he wanted to lay on the bed. So, just me for a little while. Um, uh, those guys. Oh my goodness. How far do I need to go? I will fast travel if I need to at this point. That's a long way. <laughs> Why? That's good. <laughs> that is because I went backwards. Um, no. Uh, you're going to get banned pre-war cop. Instantly. Be gone. Yep. Oh, yeah. Instant ban. Where you at? Where's my mod tools? Okay, never mind. Nicole got him. <laughs> Fastest ban hammer in the West. And we're going to block him on restream. There, and now he's gone. Perfect. Thank you, honey. We whoop. Okay, so now we are going to fast travel. We are going to fast travel somewhere to Hogsmeade. I do not. That would be a good thing for me to set up. Meet, here I come. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a peek after it later today. And I will let you know if I need any help. Where's Honey Dukes? That's three broomsticks. Zonkos. There's Honey Dukes. Batarags. Wooden Peck. Honey Dukes. Oh, hey, Page. thank you. Statue of the Hufflepuff, Hengist of Woodcroft, founder of the village of Hogsmeade. Oh, that's cool. I think that sounds like quitter talk. You should go get a puppy. That said locked, but I just walked right through it. JK. Yeah, that is, that is how we got Griff, basically. This, she showed me a picture of him, and I was like, okay, we can go visit him. And then we got him. <laughs> Oh, it's it, it was really cute, honey. Earlier, I went downstairs, um, to to shake up my lunch, and Griff is resting in my office. Yeet. Ah. Okay, we're good. Huh. 
Yeet. Oh, I made it. Yep, Lola was Lola was on big couch and Griff was was in my my office. He kind of looked at me like, "Dad, why aren't you working today?" And for anyone just joining us, yes, I know I can fast travel back to Hogwarts, but this is more fun. <laughs> Maybe you and Nicole can be besties. Not a... And we're back. Where am I going? This way, really up? True. <laughs> also true. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, this person's probably below me. I was like, there's a mark for a side quest here. Oh, that's right. Okay. On our way to the Forbidden Forest. I'm trying to remember if I tried to disarm a spider yet or not. I feel like I'll do that next time I fight one. Don't do it! Yep. <laughs> He's so mean. Oh, man. I'm glad that that Pseudo armor puts himself back together, though. Rebellion. Wait a minute. Does the gate the gate closes at night? Nope, what it opens anyway. Oh, nothing. I'm not up to anything, flu powder lady. Totally not going into the Forbidden Forest at night time. Don't know why you'd think something like that. Doesn't sound like something I would do. Revelio. What did I just hear? One has to always keep an eye on one's valuable. Uh, that's, that's what I told the shopkeeper before I took him for everything else. Who are you and what are you doing so close to the school? They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. Love to see you try, my dude. We'll be off to the tavern after this. Missed him. Afraid to take it in time. Stoop time. Stoop time. Was that meant to fry it, mate? Expelliarmus. Twas it nothing. Ow. Okay, you can't block incendio. Good to know. Didn't know that. Let's bring up. 
That's the wrong one. Ow, Incendio. Hurts. You're done? Nah, I don't think so, dude. Got him. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. Accio. Hey, finally the video works again. Good. I have mail. That's cool. Don't read it, game. Thanks. It says, happy to report that my sister Helen survived the sudden attack in Azkaban. Oh, good. Does not hold a grudge against Anne as terrible as the violence was after seeing the conditions in Azkaban. I knew Helen said it's no wonder Anne's mind is gone so far. Yep. Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it would be worse now. Seems you found Jackdaw's ghost and told him about Anne. Yes, I did. Don't know how you know that, but yes, I did. And that he has evidently promised to work with the Ministry and Helen to see what, if anything. Oh, good. Okay, that's how. Because he went to the Ministry and told them. Neat. I wonder how quickly ghosts can get around. I've never really thought about it like that. They have, like, I wonder if they have to just be able to teleport places, wouldn't you think? Here we go, Forbidden Forest. This area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. Yep. And here we go. Revelio. Great spined dug bog. Interesting. Doesn't even be unless he attacks me. Which he's gonna. Nope. We're good. Everything is fine. The homie said, "Beware a light wind, a <laughs> light breeze." Here I am, as good as my word. Yeah, I just had to apparently sit here all day. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Why, you've been dead Keep for like 50 years. Open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. That is Latin, as you can imagine, all of the spells are in Latin, my school. dude. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, Anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. Revelio. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Oh, it's starting to rain. Lovely. Yeah. Imagine being dead. Couldn't be me. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Oh, And it's gone. Now we'll come back. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. 
Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Pretty sure it's French. Nice try, though. Anyway. Oh! Spider nest. Is not where I'm going. Good. <laughs> How nice to see you, my young friend. Let's say. Mark dangerous. Okay. Well, we know it's dangerous. We'll hit another enemy with a spider explosion. Oh, it thought I was in combat, but I wasn't. Oops. Oh, that's right. You can blow. You can explode the spiders by hitting them while they're midair with the uh, incendio. Blows them up. Hey, centaurs. Can you guys kill all the spiders for me? That'd be really helpful. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Ravenia. Kill them with fire? Yes, fire is actually the best way to handle the spiders. <laughs> I feel like I don't need to be walking around cloaked, but I'm doing it anyway. He says, and then dodge rolls, which decloaks you. Okay. The lake. Okay. When he said lake. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Oh, this is where. Oh, neat. There's an allusion to prongs right there. This is the lake where Harry finds his Patronus. Makes his Patronus, I should say. I guess finds is the same. Revenue. Let's technically find it. He finds it first and then he casts it later. Where am I going? I'm going this way. <laughs> there it is, just as Jackdaw described. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. How did your thing get out here, dude? Finding these. Expelliarmus. That's not what I thought I had. I thought I had fire. Incendio. Can I light you on fire? Yes, I can. Take those, and now we're gonna do the thing. Intramuros. Intramuros is the password. Glad we don't have to actually have to remember the passwords. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you a little far from I was Bring drinking my lunch, dude. Ow. 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 All right. We're gonna die. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Jack Dawes tomb. Man says beware a light breeze. I wonder how big this place is. I love loading screen tips that are like, hey, equip better gear to do better. <laughs> Thanks, game. Wouldn't have had that thought.
Oh, that's right. So we... Oh, speaking of spiders, hey, there's some dead spiders right here. Um, So our next door neighbor, Bez, has a propane torch. And so when we were clearing out our backyard, um, there was just a bunch of like lava rocks that um, Nicole's mother had had, had had back there. And so we were clearing those out, but there was a huge spider back there. Massive thing. And so... Uh, Bez just came over with his propane torch and just burned it. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. I'm gonna guess I cast fire on it. Yep. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Revenge. Okay. Incendio. Did I get him? Got him. Oh, so is, ne so is Nicole. Impressive. I like spiders. I think they're cool. <laughs> I have... Someone didn't want casual visitors down there. Speaking of spiders, there's three of them. They're just chilling on the walls. Oh, and there's more down this way. Neat. <laughs> I wonder if any True, I'm so glad you tuned in. This. Oh, neat. Found him. They get him? Rebellion. Ryan Legolds, that's awesome. See, I always, I, because I know that spiders eat other bugs. So it's like, I wish that I could talk to spiders. Like, obviously, being able to talk to animals in general would be really cool. But I would especially like to talk to spiders. God, there's so many of these freaking things. Screw you in particular. I'm not gonna touch those. Ugh. Defeat an enemy with Petrificus Totalis? I don't actually have that spell though. Unless it's just a thing that I can do while I'm cloaked. Nope! Don't have that spell yet, thanks game. Oh, big one, big one. Nope, just kidding. Okay. So we we actually there were some spider there was a spider. Revelio. I should say that used to just kind of hang out on our ceiling. And I always forget what we named him. I think we named him Bin. And he was just chill. He was cool. We liked Ben. He stayed in his land. Frank, that's what it was. 
So yeah, the squealing was all the spiders I was lighting on fire. That's my bad. <laughs> Rebellion. There's more of them down there, I think. No, that's just the thing I can harvest. Huh. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Yeah, you obviously can, dude. Oh, Jesus. Hey, spiders. Rebellion. Well, that scared me. Accio. You're gonna die. Oh no! <laughs> that was so bad. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Let's see how this scarf looks like. So. Fringe forest, where's that? Oh, that's cool. We'll wear that for a little bit. Akio. Made it. Woo! Rebellion. Money, what are you? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? New scarf that I'm going to change to. else I need over here. Just... Oh, thanks. Okay. I thought these were spiders for a second. Didn't need leaves. We need those. Those help us make healing potions. I do not have any of the doggos with me right now. Dasher was whining at me because he wanted to lay down on the bed. So I let him out to go lay on the bed and I didn't go downstairs to get one of the other doggos. But I will, I promise your oldest daughter that I will give all of the doggos treats. Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio. Oh. Sure, it's a puzzle. Literally just shoot them in the right order. Incendio. My guy. You don't need to call this a puzzle. Revelio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Oh cool. Accio. Incendio. I can't hit that from this far, though. Now I'm confused. Because I can't hit that from here. Maybe, oh, I don't actually need to light them on fire. I just need to shoot them. Jing's Cribbins, my guys. Yeah, I thought because the the thing these just look like fire. I thought you had to light them on fire. No, all you have to do is shoot them. Neat. Rebellion. Oh, hey, spiders. Jaldun, you gonna you gonna jump down and say hi? Is that what's happening right now? 
Oh yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen right now. Wait, what? Are you are you not gonna attack me? Are they just gonna chill? Are these really little ones just here for scenery? Cause that's neat. Anyway. <laughs> They're just here to be to look like spiders, I guess. See, now if I could just talk to spiders, I could be like, hey guys. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. And no harm in taking a little money while we're here. If I could just talk to spiders, I'd be like, hey, you good with chilling? I'm good with chilling. And then all would be well. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Revelio. So many spiders. Akio. Be something cool, please. Spring Ivy Scarf. Neat. Revelio. Accio. Oh boy. Is it an especially large spider? I would have to guess given the context. Oh, spider eggs. Revelio. Oh! That's why you hate this? <laughs> because of the spider eggs? Incendio! Protego! Ow. Revelio. Triple go. Akio. Oh. New ones. That burrow. Well, that's my last health potion. Lovely. Got him. Those are the ones that chill. Okay. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. <laughs> I love this sort of meta commentary. Incendio. Revelio. Did I open this? I thought I did. Incendio. That's Juniper odd. Gloves. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Akio. Stupid one. Stupid one. 
send you. Ow. Can't block that. Neat. Accio. Stupid one. Incendio. Potato. Accio. Incendio. Okay. Leveled up. Still don't have my talents tree. I'm gonna need to go to herbology and make health potions after this, I swear. Because I am out. Alrighty. Quidditch goggles. Oh, let's go. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Now you're talking. Also got better gloves. Put on some Quidditch goggles for. Special rooms you've gotten in. Um, are you thinking like the... The puzzle ones where you gotta do the math puzzles to open them up. I've done those a bunch. Okay, cool. <laughs> Take your word for it. How much stuff do I have? Okay. Almost out of inventory space. Accio. Rebellio. Oh, hey. Another chest. Accio. Revelio. Okay. Accio. Oh, jeez. We're good. Everything's fine. Rebellion. Accio. More stuff. Rebellion. An untouched chest. Wasn't very far in brush hey, healing potions. Let's go, dude. Okay, I need to destroy some of this gear that I have. Some of the greens. Where's the Celtic scarf that I just picked up? That just looks like a towel. Oh, I know. Like, that's what I went to honey to Hogwoods. Hogwoods. Jesus. Hogsmeade. And so I went to Hogsmeade and sold all my stuff earlier. I just have found so much stuff in the process. No worries. We're going to go back to our sunglasses. They look a wee cooler. Grims. Revelio. I 
how do I get over there? It's so good. I'm very glad I started playing it. Okay, so there's got to be... Okay, I think I have figured out how to get over to there. Maybe, except I kind of need this back. Hold up. Nope. This. <laughs> Dude, same. It's just so nice to... It's so great to be able to explore the wizard world. Um... While also not tied directly to Harry Potter. There's nothing wrong with that, but just being able to explore it without that context gives it such a fresh feeling. Am I going to make it? Nope, not quite. I thought I could make that. Thought I was being clever. But not so much. Oh, and it's two o'clock. Yes, so I did. I went to Azkaban earlier. That was probably while you were driving. Or while you were, um... Voice only. Audio only. But yeah, we went there and... That is why we are on the quest that we are presently on. Yeet! Made it. Uh, and I'm going to destroy some. Yes, I do know that. Um, my friend Nate told me that he was like, there's he did kind of spoil it. Ooh. Silver wooden spectacles by Quidditch goggles. We're going to sell the greens that we're not wearing or destroy the greens that we're not wearing because. Duelist attire looks kind of cool. Yep, we've gone through all that and met Jazz Jackdaw and done all that. Azkaban was very cool. I thought that I was going to learn my Patronus while I was there. Which I am excited to learn because it's a black horse. That's odd. I Sleek sorcerer Jackdaw hat. This sounds interested in this fun. Loop, this... New hat. Pink. Neat. I will use that when I'm back in my school gear. But first, Zonko's hat. Oh. Uses a cat? Cool. Akio. I was very glad when mine turned out to be a horse. Well, specifically a black, black horse, black mare. Um, I'm guessing I just do this. That's that. Yeah. Oh, I missed a chest. Are you kidding me? That was right there. Eat. I'm glad Ooh, good. Health potions. left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio. Okay, so that's all stuff. I'm going a little bit later than I normally would. You got the rarest with hippogriff. There's a hippogriff patronus, yo. That's wild. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. Ignite a shooter. Incendio. <laughs> Oh, 
Ow. Okay, rude. Okay, you're gonna die. I have decided that you're gonna die. Got him. Oh! Oh, great! Lovely! There it is! Yep! Yep, big no. Big no for me, dog. Why would I do that? Ow. Why they hurt so bad. I did not want to do that on that one. I wanted to do that on the on the big ones. I'm dead. Oh, why is there two of them? Why did I get signed out of Tiltify? Hold on. Tiltify, why you signed me out? Gravestone spam. I deserve that. Uh, okay. We are going to save my my special magics for the big ones. When Chamber of Secrets came to theaters and we went to watch it, the scream is... Oh, no. I believe that. Yeah, I, I definitely believe that. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. Kind of wild to think about how long ago that was. A little bit late. Now we wait for this to be ready to attack me. All right, biggins, here we go. Oh no! Why am I getting hurt during a cutscene? Game. What the shit? Oh. <laughs> that kind of takes some of the... No, you're right, they did not. Oh, the matriarchs can burrow. Ow. Healing potion, healing potion, healing potion. And you die now. Got him. I did, I did know that they used practical effects for him. 
Big, big spider puppet. Revelio. So having the ancient magics ready for those boss fights kind of takes some of the tension out of them, but at the same time, I'm not mad because Jesus. Good God. Revelio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Oh, hey, Mallow Sweet. Nice. I need that. Too far away? No, I shouldn't be. Okay, let's try this again. Drink. Got it. Revelio. Okay. I must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. I think I found it. Ah. Yes. The remains. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Jack Crimson Overcoat. Okay, cool. Revelio. We'll examine those remains here in just a moment. This is going to be fun. I'm going to have to fight all these statue guys. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Ah, here we go. Oh, helpful. Thank you, I just figured that out again. Right, that one can't be blocked. I'm one shot. For the big guys. You are too big. Neat. Can I expel the armus and then Akio? No. That'd be kind of cool if I could, though. Oh, Jesus. Cabbage. <laughs> I just threw a cabbage at a statue.
There's one. Got him. Woo. All right. What? Well, that's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Through another. Through another doorway. I don't actually know if my cabbage did anything to the suit of armor, but I like to think it did. I like to think it gave it a, the old college try. Where am I? That camera angle oh no. shift is unnerving. The room's starting to flood. Ah! Neat! My paralyzing fear of deep water. What sort of magic is this? Okay. Neat. I like this. I can get behind this. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can I have that spell, please, so that I can go underwater? Cut some gillyweed. If I had some, it'd be neat. Okay. Oh, hey, dude. Can it be? Revelio. Anything in here for me? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Hey, Percival. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. It's because I'm, I'm the, the best. Same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and. Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Neat. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Yeah, something's something seems strange. Connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. Yay! You have new talent points. I have so many talent points. <laughs> I have 17 of them. Wait, 13 of them. Okay. Starting at level 5. You've earned talent points starting at level 5. You spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells. Cool. We're like 12 hours into gameplay. More than that, I think, actually. I think like 16 hours into gameplay.
Enemies able to detect you is reduced. Okay. Let's use a sprint while using disillusionment. We like that. We're just going to put three right into stealth. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, that'll be fun. We like that. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. So if I'd had this when fighting those statues, I could have yeeted their swords back at them. Ooh, that's going to be fun. We like that. New spell set. Oh, good. More new spell sets. Ooh, that's cool. Might just buy all of those. New spell set. Healing potion stuff. What are the dark arts ones? Oh, geez. You can get evil with this stuff. Okay. Um. That's cool, too. What are these? Oh, neat. There's a skill where you get double the Chinese cabbages. We're just going to level up our core ones real fast. We should, we should get a second spell set. These guys, we'll just buy these real fast. Cool. And then we'll hold on to that last one because I don't know what to do with it yet. Rebellion. Okay. Now we are going to save, and that's going to be where we call it for the day. Okie doke. Um, let's see here. Is there anyone on that we can raid? Maybe, maybe next time. Maybe we do raids next time. Um, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it for today. We'll be back on Thursday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so nighttime stream, after work times, uh, for more Hogwarts. Thank you, everyone who's tuned in. 
Goddess, if you're still listening, I appreciate you being here. Most of the stream chatting with me. It's been a blast. Uh, and I will link up with you on Discord after this. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I think that's going to be it for the end of the day. Um, uh, yep. Until next time, this is Copilot signing off.